Welcome to the Teresa Lusk Show, where faith meets freedom and your voice is heard. How about convicted felon for president? That's right. We are here cheering on President Donald J. Trump. We're looking forward to seeing him in the White House once again as the 47th president of the United States. But first, did you hear about Stormy Daniels? She gives a warning to First Lady Melania Trump. She suggested and said, I don't know what their agreement may or may not be, but Melania needs to leave him, she said in an interview with the Daily Mirror. Wow, can you imagine if every wife left their political husband? Listen, there are a lot of politicians who have crossed some serious legal lines and have not yet been convicted mostly because they don't have a whole party after them. This is what's happening in today's world. We have women who are willing to accuse people of whatever at just the right time. We have men who have been in politics way too long, been crossing the lines and yet have gotten away with things. I don't know about you, but I'm ready for a new start in our country for 2024. I don't know about you, but I don't like the gas prices. I don't like the inflation. I don't like the cost of milk and eggs. I don't like having to cut where I didn't used to have to cut and not give as much as I used to give in other places. You know what? We are ready for a new day here in America. So convicted felon or not, here's what I know, that when the right person can do the job, you can trust that you can vote for them regardless of their background. I can't imagine being held responsible for my background up to this day because of where I've been and what I've done and where I have failed. I'll tell you what, God is a God of second chances and things can turn around for our nation today. So this advice that Stormy Daniels feels like she has a right to give, I think we could just call it null and void. Enjoy your day. This was Teresa Lusk with The Teresa Lusk Show.